Okay, everybody. I just got my baby bearded dragon eggs, and um, I made this incubator. So I'm just going to show you guys how I did it. I mean, I don't have a lot of money, and um, I had to come up with the cheapest way possible in a quick amount of time. Um, the eggs, you know, I kind of just, I wanted them. It was a uh, last minute thing. Anyways, so I watched a few YouTube videos and I found the cheapest way for me. Um, so I went to Canadian Tire, got this cooler. It's just a styrofoam cooler for um, $6. And um, also I had to get the Perlite. Um, they didn't have the other stuff that you put inside, so I had to buy that for $6.99. And that was all that I bought. I'll just get, I'll just show you um, the thing that's plugged in is my fish heater. I have a fish tank, and um, it's really hot out right now, so they definitely will not be needing that for the next few days. Um, the heat's at a good temperature in there, um, so I thought that would be an easy way to heat the water up. Hey Tim. So I'll just show you quickly. The eggs are in here. I don't want to keep it open too long. Um, the setup. Um, there's the heater, and I have some water in the bottom, a um, couple inches. And then I have this little basket I bought at the dollar store. I had up, I had it up here actually, um, under my cupboards, holding pills and stuff like that, vitamins. Um, and it actually fit in this thing perfectly. Um, oops. Now, um, in there, you can see it's not brown. I used the perlite, or however you want to say that. I have two eggs in there. I just got them from Kijiji, so it's not, uh, I don't have a lizard right now. I do not, it's not my own clutch or anything like that. Um, however, there's the two babies. I'm so excited. I can't wait for them to hatch. Um, now I poked a few holes in this thing. The humidity seems really high right now. I just put them in here. Um, we got to get that down. I'll put that thermometer back where it was when I'm done here. But yeah, that's my um, my incubator for my little beardies, bearded dragons. Um, oh yeah, and at the side here, to get the thermometer to stick in, I just sawed that off with a knife and I just put the pieces back in to hold it there. Um, I found that the uh, styrofoam cooler would be best to use seeing as uh, it's easy to work with, easy to poke holes in. I mean, you know, I'm a girl in the apartment by myself, so I don't have a drill or anything like that. And the coolers were, the Canadian Tire, the coolers were $29.99, so I was just like, there's no way A, I'm spending that much, and B, um, I could drill holes in this thing. Anyways, um, so that's my incubator. I will get back to you when these little babies are hatched. I'm so excited. You can see the excitement in Rico's face. Yeah! He's going to be a big brother again. I think he's sick of being a big brother. Oh, Marty, are you excited? Yeah! Alright. Bye!